but probably my favorite thing that Big Lots has to offer for Halloween 2023 is the 9-inch high-velocity metal fan. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunt, and welcome to my first ever multi-store tour for the Halloween 2023 season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special video and something that I have done nothing like in the history of GM Haunts. So this is very special for the Halloween 2023 season. Today, I'm going to be visiting a couple of different stores for the 2023 season and putting all of them into one single giant store tour video. I have never done something like this, but today we are going to be kicking it off. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. But to start off, the stores that we are visiting today for Halloween 2023. We are here at the one and only Party City. Just a couple of weeks ago, I attended the Party City slash Halloween City kickoff, and today I am here at my local Party City. So let's head inside and see what they have for this season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at my local Party City. As you can see, very nice Halloween sign Tuesday on it uh, for 2023. So interesting day for Halloween, but here we are. Let's see what they have for Halloween 2023. All right, and right off the bat, we have the new for 2023 12-foot pumpkin creep. Of course, this is my uh, second time seeing this guy in real life since Party City's awesome uh, event just a couple of weeks ago, but price tag of 500, as you can see right there, still very awesome to see this guy again because he is massive, he is super detailed. I mean, look at all the vines in those hands and then the leaves and everything like that. Very, very cool looking animatronic. And uh, here he is kind of greeting you as you walk into the store. But as you can see, over here is the full selection and kind of going that way for Halloween 2023. Right here we have the backdrop version of Kilgore Gardens. Now again, I get I did get to see the full version of it and this is what it'll look like at most party cities. The backdrop version, you can see the kind of the archway um, being portrayed in like a a wallpaper almost. The skulls look very cool. You have all the vines and the pumpkins and everything like that. So there is the backdrop version of Kilgore Gardens. And then over here, we have something I never got to see in person last year. This is the Torture Box Woman from the 2022 lineup. And again, this is my first time ever seeing her. Very, very cool prop. I think she was my favorite of last year's lineup. I think I'm still gonna say that. And this is my first time ever seeing her. Obviously 200 bucks. Unfortunately, she's not turned on right now, but still take a look at her face. You can probably see that right in there. The blood looks great. Very, very cool looking. And then they do actually have two of her in box. Actually, no, this is a display one. Okay, one, this, this is the display box. And then they have one brand new in box one right here, torture box woman. And then next to that, the neon ice cream clown. Now, obviously I did get to pick this guy up a couple of weeks ago, but they do have one of him over there. And then another two of him over here, brand new in box, which is one of my favorites from Party City this year. The neon ice cream clown. And then this, <laughs> this is the uh, monstrous box that Towering Pumpkin Creep has um, it is absolutely massive. If I put my hand up against it, that should show you just how giant this box is. Probably one of the biggest retail animatronic boxes we have ever seen, but there he is right on the box. And then right over there, there he is, <laughs> really assembled. So you can see how massive the box is, but towering pumpkin creep, as you can see there. Here we have the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 3 Season of the Witch witch mask. Uh, also the pumpkin. I actually don't think they have the skull right now, which is unfortunate. So two of the three, but those are very, very cool masks. Again, I'm not going to take a look at every one. Just point out some of these ones. These Zagoni Studios masks are always cool to see in the stores. This purple monster is awesome. The blue one as well, Azul, which is uh, blue, obviously. Very, very nice. Down here, you have this awesome alien. Again, I did see this at the event, but still a great mask. The wood monster, another one I like a lot. And then I know a uh, fan favorite of this year is the angler fish mask uh, and this actually is a glowing teeth mask um, in the dark I believe I don't think it's actual LEDs but still an amazing mask very very cool looking um, and a great selection probably my favorite though right here you know I love my neon green and the radioactive skull is awesome it actually does glow in the dark as well just take a look at how vibrant the green are definitely my favorite mask from Party City over here we have the five foot Yorick skeletons that are exclusive to Party City I actually just did a little YouTube short about these guys 
because for a couple of days Party City was running a buy one get one completely free sale. Now that has gone to buy one get one 50% off. So still a very good deal if you are missing out on the skeletons. This is the black version. They have the white version. There's also a gold one which is not here right now but these are awesome as well. And then down here is another one of my favorite items for Party City this year. This is the skull stack. Again these are used in the full Kilgore Gardens display that I saw at the VIP event but very very cool looking. They're very nice quality and you can see all the detailing in the sculpt and everything like that. And then just over here you have the other skeletal items including the bat, the pumpkin skeleton which is a little bit odd but Still very, uh, very interesting. This is the uh, bird in the cage, which we've seen for a while. The spider. And then down here, you have a dog and a cat skeleton. Here we have the uh, neon skeletal items, which again, I saw at the VIP event, but they actually do not have the full skeletons. I only saw the spiders and the small heads. Here we have the uh, actual skeletons. This, obviously my favorite, the neon green. This looks awesome, and I'm sure under a UV light, that's gonna look even cooler. So a very uh, unique selection. You have the orange one, and the the pink one. I know this looks kind of red on camera, but it is very pink in real life. Uh, and then taking a look over here, we have the hanging characters. Again, I saw this at the event. I actually don't think I saw this one. This one's kind of cool. Um, as you can see, a white reaper there. This is the Oogie Boogie, which the event had a uh, Oogie Boogie with bugs and worms and all this kind of stuff in the mouth. But still, this one is awesome. Probably my favorite. The uh, Jack-O-Lantern, which is returning uh, with the cool green LEDs and the audio. Very, very cool hanging prop. We have the Plague Doctor. I saw this guy also at, uh, at the event. Saw this one as well. And then this seems to be a Reaper, which I'm not sure where the button is. Well, actually, wait, here's the button. Let's let's take a look. Oh, that's actually a skull. That's actually kind of cool, okay. So it lights up, there's like a plastic. You probably can't see it that well on camera, but there's like a plastic, actually pretty cool. Here we have another Reaper in a red robe, some gargoyles up there for 75 bucks. I actually think they're made, what are they? Oh, they're actually like latex, that's weird. Okay, latex gargoyles, very, very nice. Over here we have some fog machines. These are actually manufactured by SVI. You can see the, uh, if it's gonna focus, SVI logo right there, 1000 watt one right here, and the smaller 400 watt one as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are at our next store for this mega store tour Halloween 2023 video Michaels now I don't believe I have ever shown Michaels off in any of my videos before so we are doing a lot of firsts in this video and don't get used to it because I don't come to Michaels often but we are here because I've been seeing the trend uh, a lot of people have been coming here for 2023 and supposedly they have some good spooky stuff so uh Let's take a look. All right, and here we are inside at the Halloween Boutique. Very, very clever, Michaels. But as you can see here, starting off, we have some uh, small signage, actually 40% off, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one with a skeleton on it that says, welcome. We have a big pumpkin here with black vines on it. Be uh, beware of monsters, very, very nice. All very vintage, classic looking stuff. Again, walking underneath this, this sign here. On the left, we have a good selection of tombstones. This one's kind of cool, just because it's big. These are styrofoam, um, so not plastic, but I actually do like how these are written in green. Like I just said at Party City, I love my green. So I like how these look. Very, very nice looking. Over here, we have a Michaels staple, a Michaels classic. Here we have some Spooky Town items. Um, from Limax. So here we have a Dear Dealers Muertos fashion show piece. Uh, very, very nice looking there. We have a small town, or small building, excuse me. Again, another spooky town item, also 40% off. Uh, here we have Gothic Hills Funeral Parlor. Very vintage looking creatures right here. Small house right here, taken out of the box. The creepy rotten candy. I believe we have some different lighting options. This seems to be a ghost pathway marker. Oh, if I can keep it going. Oh batteries might be dying but green on there as you can see let's try this one out very nice I actually like how the mouth moves on that very cool again I love the green I'm loving the green here at Michaels we also have this cool light up ghost which I assume is actually relatively big probably around three feet 
very very nice looking we have some pillows for anyone out there who likes the home decor stuff then michael's will definitely help you out i actually like this a lot this uh moon almost with some bats on it i like the orange color over on this wall we have some cooler stuff in my opinion just because this is kind of some tabletop stuff on the bottom but starting off we have a uh, standard skeleton here with uh red led eyes very very uh, typical uh stay or pose and stay skeleton here we have another skeleton doll oh i thought this was a cat no <laughs> skeleton and dog um, we have a uh, head a skull with some birds on there I actually have something very similar to this but it only has one skull and the eyes are not uh, red they're green so take a look at that pretty cool and actually everything is 40% off here at Michael so if you want anything come down right away here we have this cool tree um, does not seem to be lighting up right now but again I like stuff like this these little tabletop decorations we have this skeleton cat which I assume, yep, there we go. Oh, that actually moves too. I thought it was just gonna have LED eyes. Take a look at that. Very, very nice. Got some cat noises as well. Again, I am liking the green. And speaking of it, we have this green skeleton right here, a small green skeleton. And if that one isn't small enough for you, then you need this one, the mini green skeleton. This one's actually more like a little bit yellowy than green, but some other ones over here. And then if small skeletons is not your thing, you'll like this, the biggest, green skeleton that Michaels has. I love the color on this guy. Very, very nice looking. I actually would love to see what this looks like with a UV light, and they have a ton of him. I'm sure he lights up very, or uh, glows very nice in a black light. He is $84.99, but that is 40% off, so you do the math, ladies and gentlemen, but very nice looking. Again, typical pose and stay skeleton, just a glow in the dark green. But coming back over here, these are probably my favorite items. We have this cool owl doorbell, so you'll push it on there. It's super loud. Take a look. Actually, that is a cool effect with the eyes. I like that. Just don't make too big of a hoot. <laughs> All right, I actually do like the, like the look of those eyes there. Very, very nice. We have this haunted mirror, which actually looks to be pretty neat. If you take a look at the uh, photos on the box there, have another cool doorbell. This one seems to be, this is called the Crystal Bell Doorbell. What do you see? Oh, that's actually cool. That's cool how the mouth moves. That is neat. I like it. I like the blue effect. We have a coffin doorbell. Seems like doorbells are the theme here at Michael's this year. That one just kind of opens up with an eyeball dead end. I like, actually, the effect is kind of cool on this one, too. These are neat. I will say uh, Michael's has definitely got the doorbells down for Halloween 2023. I believe these are being manufactured by Jemmy, but I can't say that for 100% right now, but these look Jemmy, so very, very cool doorbells from Michael's. And then we have a skull down there. This is the candelabra in box. And then finally, we have this skull that lights up. It's kind of flashing. I think the batteries are almost, oh, maybe it's, actually, it might be, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to do it, maybe it's not. But cool orange light on there. You get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. And then here you have, what is this? This is a skeleton groundbreaker. Oh, okay, it's a groundbreaker. With some dirt on it to make it look like a skeleton is breaking out of your lawn. All right, and over on this wall, there actually seems to be a bunch of Ed Edgar Allan Poe themed decorations. As you can see him there, this is like a, a plaque or something you put on your wall. It says, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. So it seems like the top themes at Michael's for 2023 are doorbells and Edgar Allan Poe. So kind of a little bit strange, but yeah, I can, I can respect it. So we have this cool little... Uh, skeleton uh, decoration as you can see I'm not gonna go through everything on this wall just because there is a lot and again it's all as you can see right there 40% off so very very cool but I do want to point this out because these are awesome these two uh, small busts down here these are called oh just LED tabletop decor they are busts we have a Frankenstein with some cool red LED eyes and then a bride of Frankenstein with also red LED eyes and these are like good material they are I don't know if they're resin, but they are uh, a good material on there. So these are definitely very neat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and our final stop for this mega store tour, we are here at Big Lots, another store I come to very rare. I'm hoping they have the new uh, animatronics that uh, Big Lots is releasing this year. And like I said, I have, I have barely even been here, so I have no idea this will be when we find out. Let's step inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are inside. And I am happy to report that we have one half of the new Big Lots animatronics. This is the werewolf that is being manufactured by Techie. Unfortunately, they don't have the scarecrow. I was kind of hoping to see him in person, but hey, we still have the werewolf here. But I, I have to point this out. If you just look at the werewolf here and then pan over. Oh my, what the heck is this, Big Lots? 
What is this? They have all Christmas set up and there's barely any Halloween stuff. Okay, I don't know. Let's turn away from the Christmas. Let's come back over here. Unfortunately, I don't think he's activated or turned on right now. Um, you can actually see his price tag on his face of $159.99. And then down here, we have this, um, this rocking doll, as you can see. Very nice. I'm gonna turn her off immediately because she's incredibly loud in this big lot. But over here we have some other Halloween items. Do not worry, there is a lot more in those um, aisles over there. But here we have this guy. This guy I actually do think is kind of cool. This is a, uh, a, a monster dog, if you could call it that. Uh, looks like he doesn't have batteries, but still he looks cool. His head goes up kind of like that. Don't want to break him, but he also has some LEDs. He's still very cool looking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is about the best it's going to get here at this big lots is this aisle. But that doesn't mean it's bad. There is definitely some cool stuff in this aisle here. So starting off, another postable skeleton. We have definitely seen, of course, it's, <laughs> I am having terrible luck with batteries and things today, but we've seen a lot of postable skeletons today. Uh, here's another one. We have this cool skull, which, oh, this good thing. This actually lights up. This is actually kind of cool. I like it. It has some, uh, some wiring around the eyes to create that cool effect. That's actually kind of neat. Very cool looking skull. We also have this tombstone, which, let's see. Oh, look at that. All right, hands go up and down. Some cool uh, lighting effects on there. Over on this side, you have some standard creepy cloth. This is a white color for five dot. Wait, hold on. Is it? Oh no, 99 cents. Oh wow. Under five. Wow, that's a very good deal actually. If you need a creepy cloth, this might be the best price I've seen for creepy cloth is that big loss. 99 cents. It was even more than that at, company, at other stores. So 99 cents only at big loss. Very nice deal. But here we have some uh, home decor stuff. Let's party pumpkin. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird, but uh, over here we have some little figures. Uh, Oogie Boogie. We have Jack Skellington here. These are the uh, stack of Jack Skellington pumpkins. Very, very nice. We have a cool uh, zombie up there. Uh, does he have an activation button? I don't think he does, but that's still okay. Look at that. Ooh, very creepy looking. Over here we have some smaller versions almost of that doll that was up by the front. Let's, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh Hold on. Does she do a wheel? Oh, I thought she did a wheel. Hold on, let's put her down on the floor. Let's see what she does. Oh, I thought she did a wheelie, you know. She just kind of goes around on the floor. Eh. Okay, red lighting effect on there, red LEDs, uh, kind of basic, but Haunted Hollow. Maybe that's uh, the Big Lots brand. Uh, Wednesday pillow here, a pick your poison pillow, and then this. Let's, let's, we gotta check this out here. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't play that song because I'm going to get a copyright strike, but nice dancing pumpkin. All right, here we have some uh, other interesting items. This actually is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This is a old style camera and it's kind of hard to see what it does, but it actually projects a skeleton on a film reel who is dancing around, as you can see, and these actually turn as well. Um, this is how much? $24.99. This is a good deal. That's kind of a little cool item. Um, we also have some cool dolls down here. This is a little doll with some red LEDs. Little animation there. We have a peekaboo doll. Let's see her. Don't want her to knock into the other one. Wow. <laughs> very, very nice. We also have this, this doll here. And look at how weird the one looks back there. Very cool. And then down here we have a uh, seesaw dolls for $34.99. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, kind of simple, but it is what it is. We have this doll that also looks kind of off, but we'll take a look. Uh, these things are too loud at Big Lot, so I can only have them on for a second. But here we have this, uh, this is actually kind of neat. Uh, it's a little bat that lights up pretty bright in real life too so kind of is nice for like a, a decorative piece also some other decorative pieces like this house this uh, ghost on top of a pumpkin but probably my favorite thing that big lots has to offer for halloween 2023 is the nine inch high velocity metal fan as you can see up there very very nice looking all right so it's gonna wrap up my first ever multi-store tour and this just so happens to be for the halloween 2023 season let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do more of this style store tour video normally i just do one video for each store but i thought 
but hey, for these smaller ones, maybe I just make one big video, and that's why you ended up seeing this. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos just like this one. But we saw Party City, we saw Michaels, and we saw Big Lots, and even though not all of them had a ton to offer, I think we still ended up seeing a good assortment of new products for Halloween. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you later for more Halloween 2023 store tours. Goodbye.